this video we will be converting between the metric and imperial system. Now let's start by looking at the difference. The metric system is used in South Africa and most other countries around the world. We use units like millimeters and grams, kilograms, all of those, you know, the normal units that we have. However, the imperial system was an old system that um, the British people used. These were things like inches for length and pounds for um, weight or mass. So let's now look at an easy way that you can convert between the two. I'm going to start with an example here. I'm going to start with the inches one. Let's say one inch. If you convert that, it would be roughly um, 25,4 millimeters. Okay. Now say I want to go from inch to millimeters. So I want to convert between the two and I'm going from inch to millimeters now. How do you go from one to any number? Let's say one to five. How would you go there? You would multiply by that number to get the same number. Right, so remember that. So I'm going to multiply by 25,4 to get 25,4 again. Now on the other hand, if I now want to go back um, from millimeters back to inches, if I want to go from 25,4 to 1, I'm going to have to divide by the number itself. Because remember, if I have a number and I want to get back to 1, I'm going to have to divide by that same number. Okay. So let's look at an example where we use this. Let's say I must now convert 9 inches to millimeters. Let's say that's the question. Now let's go back and look at inches to millimeters. Do we have to divide or multiply? So we're going from inches to millimeters. So we have to multiply by 25,4. So I'm going to use that 9 and I'm going to multiply by 25,4 and then the answer I'm going to get is something like 228,6 millimeters. Okay, let's do another example. Let's work with pounds. So one pound gives you more or less um, 453 comma five nine grams so once again if I want to go from pounds to grams I want to go from one to that number I'm gonna to have to multiply by that number and then then in the case where I want to go from grams to pounds I have to divide by that number because a number divided by itself gives you one okay now let's do an example that says they want us to convert 1,360,77 grams to pounds. Right, so it's grams to pounds. Okay, let's go back and see what we need to do. We need to divide. So you just follow your arrow. Grams to pounds divide by 453,59. So I write my number and I divide by 453,59. The answer I get is 3 pounds on the dot. Right. So the only thing you need to focus on is getting your arrows and your multiplication or um, whether it's multiplication or division. You need to get that right and then you can answer any question. Okay, so that's the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.